Hi, I'm Brian Krupski. I'm one of the sales and leasing consultants over here at Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt. And today we're looking at the interior of Nequinox. This one's a 1LT. And if you come over here to the side, you can see that it's got the premium cloth trim in it, the jet black. So you can see it's a little bit of a tighter fit than our, uh, our starting model, the LS. And then another feature with the Equinox is that is that the seats, if you have more, uh, more space you need the trunk there, the seats are on a rail system, so you can slide them forward or backward depending on if you have people in the back or if you need the extra space. So it's just a little rail system. You click the lever up here on the front, and that slide it forward or backward depending on how you want it. So we'll slide it about halfway now just so we can see like the full potential of the trunk space in here. So you can see with the seats uh, fully up, you got about four feet in here uh, that you can use. And then one feature I do want to point out doesn't come with every vehicle. This here uh, kind of closes the gap that would be between the seat and your trunk space. Now, um, it's called the cargo closeout panel. If your vehicle doesn't come equipped with it, you can always check with our parts department to order one. Um, you're also going to have your spare tire located inside the vehicle rather than underneath. So it's just stored right down here for you as well as your jack and all your um, equipment for the jack. And then these rings here are going to be for your cargo net. If you have groceries or anything, you can put the net in there and kind of keep them from sliding around. And then you're going to see two little holes notched in here as well. There's a cargo shade that's an option for the vehicle as well. They'll just peg into there and spring loaded so it pops in, pops out. You don't have to bolt it into the vehicle and it just latches in right into this hook here. Coming back to the path, or, uh, driver's side rear seat, just showing how they fold down. There's just a little clasp right here on the top of the seat. You just give it a squeeze and fold it down. The seats are 60-40 rear split, so if you do have a third passenger, they can still sit on the side if you do have longer items. And then coming up to the driver's seat, this one is going to be powered just for the driver alone. You're going to have the eight-way on there, up, down, forward, backward, lumbar, as well as uh, reclining. Power windows all throughout the vehicle. You're going to have one touch for the driver, and then everybody else you're going to have to push up and down. you got your safety lock, too, for the windows right here. So if any, you got kids in the back seat playing with the windows, you can just lock them out right away. As well as having your door locks inside, too, so you don't have to click the little lever inside the door anymore for the back doors. Going through, you do have the seven-inch MyLink display in this one, as well as plenty of um, room to plug in. You got your USB auxiliary, you got your car outlets, so they're going to be stored right in here inside your center, uh, center console. That's going to have plenty of room down there, just right in the front. Again, I'm Brian Krupski. I'm one of the sales and leasing consultants over here at Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt. Stop on by.